welcome to the Come Draw With Me session. I will now be handing you over to our very talented artist, our head of uh, artwork. Please welcome Poker. Thanks very much for coming along. I thought I'd show you some tips and based on how to draw some basic anatomy, draw faces, eyes, nose, expressions. I'm going to start off with a couple of canine heads and obviously some people said to me that you know, jackals, coyotes, foxes and wolves are the same, but they're not. And I'm going to draw a basic wolf head and a fox head and I'll show you a couple of differences. I'm going to start with the wolf head. We start off as a semicircle. You have the usual where you, you leave a cross in the middle to level the eyes and the mouth. So you're doing like a, a basic angel-eye shape with wolf ears. They're not as pointy as the foxes. They're more curved like this with the wolf. The fur that goes downwards and the front of the ears are more pointing towards you. And to draw the nose we have obviously a upside down triangle. So you go round and round again, fill in the nostrils, do the outline of the neck, and then add the ridge. And the ridge goes the opposite direction, so you work your way around. Most fur lengths quite the same. To make more realistic ears, you kind of have a little curve at the bottom. What I do is add detailing like this, sideburns start to form. Then we do the same at the bottom of the ears, give it extra fluff. Let's draw the eyes, I'm going to make it smaller now. They have similar eyes to the generic dog. Make like a partial pear like shape and start the eye, you build a semicircle around. I will start with the pupil, follow it evenly around to give a bit of extra detail. As you can see, I'm leaving a shadow and for the extra detail, leave some strips around the eye. For the eyebrows, make a starting point here. With the brow, the thinnest point is at the end of face and it gets thicker towards the middle of your face. And you start with strokes at the bottom. If you want to give like a mean sort of expression, but I'm going to go back to the ears. Start off with a thick black edge along the ears to make sure it follows inwards the ear, not down Downwards, have it falling in a crescent pattern and if you wish to we do extra shading but I do the same in here just and back to the side cheeks we follow it all the way down where it goes below the muzzle as I get to the snout we start off with the tip of the mouth and start leveling it off draw a curve on the top of the nose then we start off with the tip like this I'm gonna add the whiskers draw dots but I do the rim of the lip like a very thick black then we start off with the bottom teeth then start smaller then the rest of the row will be all the same and the chin is almost level with the lips. The wolf character has extra poofy neck. Start off with some massive strokes each side. Then you start shadowing behind the, the thicker tuft around the neck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn symmetric off so I can show you how to do the front tuft. And the end of the muzzle between the eyes we have fluff starting on top of the neck. So let's get some extra fluff. We all love that. I'm going to move on to the eyes now. I'm going to show you how to do a more realistic eye. We'll have a dot there. Then you have another one at the bottom. Then you airbrush around the biggest dot where the light is reflecting on the eye. What I normally do is I airbrush on the outer eye. I'm going to show you some basic shading. I'm going to show you where the light coming towards the face. Let's give him a little hairdo. There we go, we gave some hair. So there you go, you've got your generic wolf face with the round face, the smaller ears with more round edges and a thicker neck and smaller eyes and thicker muzzle than the fox. That pretty much covers the generic wolf. For the highlight now, I'm going to show you how to do a fox face. Yes! Because everyone loves foxes. We start off with the diamond face again. They have bigger ears and they're more pointy. And the ears point face sideways, not forwards. Another difference, as I mentioned, from the wolf is the tuft goes upwards. From the level of the ears, the tuft goes downwards. And as you work your way up, they point the other direction. Generally, they have thinner necks and their noses are much thinner. Always start off with the eyes. So in the wolves, they have the angel eyes. And like its fellow feline, foxes actually have slit eyes. Then follow the eyes, make your way around the nose, then join the muzzle. Obviously, they're thinner than the wolves. So join that together. Let's give them a happy face. With the whisker lines, they're slightly up than the wolf. Make a small dot. Make them bigger, work your way up. Because I gave a happy expression to the wolf, let's give some angry eyes. We'll start off here. There you go, we gave him an angry expression because he heard Awu was legalised. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and the inner fluff ears on the fox are the same as the wolf. And with the side of the cheeks, they're actually higher than the wolf. And they level to about here. Then we draw a little border from where all the orange and the white fur separates. So you see here, you can see the key differences between the wolf and the fox. Muscle different, eyes are different, the ears are different. 
and then there was a further difference. Now you've got all the key differences between those two. Moving on to the V lines now. I'm going to start off with the Lynx, because the Lynx is my favourite. You start off with your generic diamond, and the misconception with Lynx is that people draw their ears too long, have generic ears, you have the tuft afterwards. That gives the illusion that they're long ears. In reality, they're similar to all the generic V lines. As with Lynxes, they have long tufts. So I would start levelling with the chin. Drawing V lines, we outline differently. We draw a circle from the chin to the level of the eyes. With the nose, it starts off with a flat V. You've got more like a boomerang shaped nose. It starts off with generic hinge eyes here. Similar to the box, they also have slit eyes. If you want to draw more realistic eyes, generally they have like little strings coming outwards like this. And we do the same lighting. We start off with one large dot top, a small one at the bottom, airbrush around it. And if you wish to, airbrush the eye. And if you want extra shading, obviously just go around the top again. And at the rim of the eye, that's usually dark. There you go, that's how you get your realistic feline eyes. I'm going to show you how the bridge of the links works. First, we're going to finish off the muzzle. You start shading below the eyes. So we have a very similar to a lines muzzle. It starts off diagonally, diagonally again upwards. Between both muzzles, there's a thicker line in between. And as a feline, they have generally like thicker whiskers. And if you want to finish off the eye, follow the eye here to a curve. Then we all shade it all off. And back to the feline muzzle. Obviously, their mouths are shorter than the canines. So we're going to start the edge about here and work your way down. Going to give it a smaller chin. And with the cheeks, they're normally thick and he stand out better. And for the ridge of the neck, it goes the opposite direction. Always start off with the big tusk at the front. Let's give it a little bit of a hairdo. And to finish it off, we're going to do his ears. With those, they have tufts on both sides equally. Then we work our way here. So there you go, you've got your generic links with the big cheeks, the other uh, ears with the tongue. Right, that's links is covered. Right, I'm going to show you how to draw the difference between digigrade and plantigrade legs. Obviously, people have different levels of anthropomorphism. With plantigrade, we start off with the hips. You have this large circle at the top, a slightly smaller one at the bottom, and a line here. Starts off thick, and then it narrows as you get to the knee. Then you extend the curve downwards, and for the lower leg, you start off about here, then you follow the curve downwards. And for the feet, you line like a little wedge. You wish to add toe beans on them. And at the bottom, do a slight curve, go down again, move your way back up, separate the feet halfway. And for the full edging, it's thicker halfway on the edges like I'm doing here. And generally, they're all facing downwards. Now I'm going to show you how to do the digigrade leg. Start off with a basic lightning. Start with the last circle at the top. Make a basic lightning shape as you do here. And the foot base shorter. You connect the circles of the circles. And as you just go below the circle, this is where the foot starts to form. Add a curve around. After the foot, it goes upwards on the edges here. The same with the other leg. Leg. The fur pants follows downwards. So actually here you got very simple, plant grades, three straight circles, digit grade legs, big circle, small circle, smaller circles. Does the ankle bone like really show on the digit grade ones? Make a coin. Normally about right here. I'm going to do the tail part now. I'm going to start off with a fox tail. Start with the top of the tail. You start off with thin strokes at the top. And as you work way down below, the thread gets thicker. As you go, you've got your generic fox tail. Draw a tall diamond, just work way downwards. Then show the top and figure as you work your way downwards. Now I'm going to show you how to draw one for a husky. Start with a very random curve and do another one like this. So it's almost like a moon shape. And you start with a thin straight to the top. At the bottom, immediately you start off with fixed strokes. They all follow the same pattern. Then as it makes its way up, it all thins out. And if you want a two-tone tail, we make another line like this. Fix straight below, and they get thicker as you go around. So you've got your generic husky tail. You want a lamp? Who wants a lamp? Lamp! Yeah. Lamp! 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 OK, lamp. Well, I'm going to show you how to draw a lamp. Because we've got so many moths here, we're in a society where we got to be equal. Let's draw a lamp, just for the sake of the moths. Who wants a Pixar lamp? Let's do a Pixar lamp. Yeah. Yeah. Can we draw the ball as well? Just to keep him happy and occupied, we'll give him his ball. 
There you go, we got the ball, everyone happy. Yeah. Starts off with a circle a little bit. We give him a little care because he's not going anywhere. Starts off with the pivot. George circles so he's staring at the lamp. There we go, we got happy boss. There you go, get your lamp. Now you know how to draw a lamp. Beautiful. Everyone happy? Yeah. You know how to draw a lamp? Fantastic. Fish away, fish away, walk across the track. I'm going to do is I'm going to do it, um, special way.